I'm here with veteran wide receiver Sterling Shepard. Shep, this Sunday is Giants' first time making it to the playoffs or playing in the playoff game since 2016. You were on that team. Like, kind of, I understand you got to, you know, kind of be from, from the sideline from this time, but what are you saying to the receiver core? Because this is these guys' first playoff game ever. So what are you saying to the receiver core, getting them ready and mentoring them for this matchup? Yeah, uh, I just think uh, taking advantage of every t opportunity that you get. Um, when you talk about games like this, it comes down to the small plays, and uh, that's just a message that I've been relaying to the guys, and also that um, the speed of the game is going to go up. I mean, you're used to a speed in the regular season. Um, each stage of the year, the speed goes up, and in the playoffs, it definitely does. Well, what kind of details? When you talk about guys detailing their work, I remember uh, when I was with the Miami Dolphins, we played the Baltimore Ravens once that year. Mm -hmm. Then we played them in the playoffs. Like you said, Ed Reed and then Ray Lewis, that speed got even faster. So when you're talking about detailing your work, with something that you you got, you kind of have to harp on them or really be on them going from regular season to playoffs. Yeah, uh, I think mixing things up for sure, especially at this um, at this time of year. The the defense definitely has a lot of film on you throughout the season, and then we're playing a team that we played a couple of weeks ago. So you definitely have to mix some stuff up so guys can't get a jump on um, different routes that you run and. Uh, different things that you do throughout the game. They were able to put up 445 yards of total offense against this team. I mean, the receiver core, they had over 250 themselves uh, when they played this Viking secondary the first time. So how much of it is switching things up, but also <laughs> doing what you did successfully the first time? Yeah, I mean, it's just paying attention to detail. And uh, the guys have been doing a great job of that throughout the week. Um, I've been seeing guys with their iPads just watching film. Uh, you know, just like they can get a jump on us, we can get a jump on them as well. And uh, guys have definitely been doing that throughout preparation. I mentioned that 2016 playoff team. You were a rookie that year. There was the the, the infamous boat trip that year. Not to get into it in terms of, yeah, you don't have to tell me what, you know, what, what, uh, what kind of went down in that sense. But how different is this team's mindset to that 2016 team's mindset? Yeah. Uh, you know, coach after the game told everybody we need everybody to be smart and um, uh, do the things that winning football t uh, teams do, and that's be a pro. And uh, that's something that we've been talking about all throughout the year. And uh, we have a great group of guys that uh, understood that and have definitely um, done just that. You think this team, with the, with the mindset that you guys have had, you think they needed kind of that disclaimer? Or have they grown? Or have you seen this team grow up before you're very much out, before your eyes faster? Than, than normally in the yeah. NFL locker room? We got a group of guys that, uh, that, that know what is the right thing to do and uh, have definitely been pros throughout the year. So uh, we good. Dude, we good. We good. I can yeah. tell by the smile. All right, Chef. Thanks, man. All right, bro.